Hey, everybody. I'm here today with David Six, the head women's basketball coach at Hampton. Coach, thank you so much for your time today and welcome to the CIA. Thank you for having me. And now it's really interesting because Hampton has been in three conferences now in the past six years. So you're used to navigating this transition. And so how are you going to approach this with your team now that you head into the CAA? Um, obviously, uh, uh, it's probably a step up in, in terms of uh, challenges or whatever. But I don't, I don't you know, we prepare uh, for everybody uh, the same. So uh, we don't take anybody lightly. So. I think for us, it'll just be uh, um, doing little things like, you know, making sure that our execution is a little better, uh, making sure that that uh, we in the best shape possible and and uh, just playing hard. So, I, 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 you know, at the end of the day, um, it's a step up for us, no, no doubt about that, but basketball is basketball. So who's your team coach? Who is Hampton women's basketball? What are these ladies? What are they bringing to the court this year specifically? Well, uh, we, we have a, a, you know, influx of uh, new players. So um, I think that, that we don't know the answer to that yet. I, I think that we'll, what we'll try to do is return to the things that we've done in the past in terms of playing hard, great defense, uh, great execution. Um, and, uh, you know, COVID has been such a, a, a beast for us in terms of, uh, you know, the last two years, you know, one year it ended our season. Uh, last year, everybody on the team got it. We, we, we missed uh, an entire month wow. of the season. So we hoping that those things don't happen. Uh, and, and then we, as I said before, we're trying to return to our core values, if I, if you will, in terms of, what we do in basketball wise. And so we'll see. Battle tested for sure. I think everyone has sort of been in that predicament of having to face, right? Things that we didn't expect to happen, but how have you seen those core values strengthened because of adversity? Well, um, a couple of years ago, we were the last division one team to come back. Uh, we didn't come back to November 20th. Uh, we started practicing on December 4th and uh, we played on December 7th. Uh, that's not going to be the case this time. Uh, obviously, we, we've had uh, uh, a preseason opportunity to, to, to get in some shape, opportunity to get to know um, what we like, what we don't like. You know, but at the end of the day, we're still, are, we're still relatively new to each other, getting to know each other. Um, moving people around in, in, in different spots. You know, right now, most of the time is, is, is getting people stronger and, and, and uh, getting them in, their bodies in condition. So that's what we're trying to do right now. Looking forward to seeing the product of all of that on the court very shortly. And coach, I was looking into your background and what I thought was so interesting was what initially brought you to Hampton, Virginia was being in the United States Air Force. I mean, wow. How did that season of your life really propel you into coaching, but also shape who you are as a coach? Well, you know, I played um, and uh, as uh, my time at Air Force One, you know, finished, I, I uh, started coaching in high school. Uh, and uh, I started on the uh, men's side, uh, coaching them. And uh, uh, one year, uh, a coach left, and, and they asked me to do it. And I said, nah, I really don't want to coach girls. You know, uh, so he came back to me, and he was like, can you do it till uh, I find somebody? And I said, well, yeah, OK, but you got to find somebody. and and Almost, it's been a long time, but I, I started coaching on the women's side and, and then I moved into college. So um, right from the airport. So I uh, went to Hampton High School to coach and then to uh, Hampton University. So I didn't even have to move houses. <laughs> you switched to the women's side and you've never looked back. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. As, as they say, I made my bones on the women's side. <laughs> Listen, not a bad place to be at all, but how much joy has that brought you, you know, to see this kind of unexpected life, you know, transition take place and then to be able to pour into so many women. I mean, you're in such a pivotal role. So how's it really brought you joy um, in your life? 
Well, it's brought me joy because I've, I've had the opportunity to change uh, young women's lives by first in high school by sending them to college and then uh, in college by giving them an opportunity to change their life through a college degree. So, um, and then uh, I really believe this. I, coming from the men's side and then watching, uh, I see the disparity that, that women face. Uh, and oftentimes they need an advocate uh, and who has been on the other side as well. So um, I definitely see that 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 uh, the women's game has made strides. It's, it, it's really a, a fundamental game, great game to, to watch um, great athletes uh, on both sides. I mean, uh, I love uh, the relationships that you can develop on this side or whatever you know i love that uh you know some of my players i'm, I'm telling my age now but some of my players have gotten married and 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 they've had children or whatever and so you know you feel like you feel very proud to 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 have been a part of that wow appreciate that coach that's beautiful um being in the air force i can imagine you learned a few things right what have you taken from that season of your life and implemented now into these women's lives who, I mean, you're talking weddings, you're talking years down the road. What have you been able to pour out that you learned from that season of being in the Air Force? I think that the, the biggest thing is, is obviously you want to instill discipline. Um, you know, I tell my players all the time that you're going to, you're going to have to do things that you don't like. You know, I, it, it, or you don't want to do, you, I, you know, you may not want to pay your taxes, but if you don't, they're going to come get you. <laughs> yeah. If you, don't, if you don't pay your light bill, you'd be in the dark. Right. So, you, you you know, the thing about life is, is that sometimes you have to do things that are not necessarily what you want to do. They're, they're what you have to do. And I, and if my kids can learn anything, I think it's, it's that, um, you know, uh, you have to be able to put, your life on the back burner for two hours, whatever's going on in your life. When, you know, when your supervisor comes to you and says, where's my, uh, you know, where's my report? They don't want to hear, well, I, I didn't feel that. No, where's my report? So life is, it, we teach them life lessons here, um, how to maneuver in this, in this game they call life. And, and uh, I'm proud to, to say that we've done a pretty good job of that. Believe that so much. I needed to hear that. Thanks for teaching me, Coach. I appreciate it today. And this will, you know, teach so many who are listening and watching this video. So really appreciate your time and looking forward to getting to know you and the team more throughout this season. All right. Thank you.